Good morning. Um, my name is Julie from So Unique, and welcome to April day seven of my daily vlog. Well, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is out, and I've been sort of pottering around the garden. Nothing much. <laughs> I've been outside on mouse patrol. <laughs> I also brought a mouse back this morning, didn't she? It didn't actually look quite like a normal mouse that we've seen before. It was a lovely, lovely shade brown, not chocolate brown, a bit lighter than that. And it got biggish ears, it looked quite plump. So I'm not sure what it actually was. Was it a mouse or not? But she has a habit of bringing them home. Sorry, my hair's getting in, in the way. Uh, and playing with them on the garden. I mean, she doesn't bring them home very often because she knows if we see her, we sort of take the mouse away from her but no she's dropped it in the garden because it won't play anymore and she took off and then it's, she's been coming back every few minutes to see if she can play with it a bit more so I've had to be out in the garden to try and keep her away from it because it was still breathing and there didn't appear to be any damage to it from what I could say anyhow I uh, managed to shoo her away long enough and the other two are inside and the mouse has actually disappeared so I'm hoping it's okay and it's taken off I mean I don't like mice very much but I would hate hate to see the cats have the mice it's, to, it's awful really Charlie doesn't play with them he eats them <laughs> which is not very nice when you find decapitated mice in your garden but I must admit, it doesn't happen too often. Uh, well, last night, um, yes, you'll have seen on yesterday's vlog, I put a, a photograph of the um, bread that we made yesterday. And there's, there's a small amount of loaf left, I tell you. I had a slice for breakfast this morning, which was really nice. It wasn't strongly flavoured of olives. I mean, I know the recipe called for anchovy paste in it which no no I don't fancy that I haven't got any anyhow um, and we'd got a jar of olives Kevin had, had had them for, for Christmas it was a really big jar and I said oh we'll open them up and we'll put them in the bread they've got stones in haven't they so it took me ages to trim all the bits of olive off the stone <laughs> so we didn't have to put too much in i got a bit fed up after a while but it did taste nice and the bread was quite soft spongy i suppose i know before on other recipes when you have to put oil in it will tell you to use oil out of the jar which we have done and especially for the sun-dried tomato bread that is absolutely delicious but they were in brine so i just put the ordinary oil in but no it's really nice everybody's liked it and um, that's why there's hardly any bread left <laughs> but i'm going to probably have to cut down the bread making now because i think i've got one bag of white left and a wholemeal bag left and then that is all my bread flour gone and i can't actually get any Every time you go to the supermarket, the shelves are just empty. And even on my online shop, I haven't been getting any flour. And this week is the last online shop I've got because I can't get a slot. Because they are just just totally busy. That's it. So, looks like next week we're going to have to venture out to the supermarket, which I don't really want to do. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, I have actually got to go out today, but I'm not going out till later. Um, I've got to go to the post office. Uh, I've got a couple of orders to do, but I've also got to package up and send out the granddaughter something for Easter. So that's what's going to keep me busy today. Um, but I'm out in the sewing room now because I've got a little bit of sewing I want to try and get done. Uh, what else am I doing? Oh, last night I did manage to do a bit of work on my Peter Rabbit cross stitch. I decided to take it in the house because 
the stool is not very comfortable for when you start cross stitching it's okay for a little while and I thought you know I really could just do a going inside so I went in and I got myself settled on the settee put my feet up because I couldn't find a comfortable position and especially to take the magnifier in so I put my feet up on the settee got the light over the top of me and I put the magnifier at the side of me and it was sort of tucked under the back part of the settee which kept it in place and it worked fine um, it's a bit <laughs> when you're trying to hold a hoop and you've got a magnetic board on your lap and a pencil and everything it's a bit fiddly faffy but it worked and I was managed to do a little bit of cross stitch so I was working on the the brown of the body so as you as I showed you yesterday I've got sort of one colour around the body <coughs> excuse me and I picked the next colour so I went to it sort of takes it across the top and just down the sides which that's fine but I've made a mistake so I, I need to sort of I don't know probably maybe tonight when it's quiet I might bring it back out here and do a little bit counting and see where I've gone wrong I'm just not sure if I've not done enough rows but I don't know I'll have to say or I might because where where Peter is stood he's, he's stood in front of the egg so I could probably do a few rows of the egg so I know I'm sure I'm a row out on on his body but I can, I'm sure I can sort it out I just need a bit of peace and quiet no interruption no Kevin chattering <laughs> oh dear, that'll never happen so yeah so that's one job I need to do uh, what else am I doing do you know I don't know I don't know <laughs> things will change I know they will so anyhow I finished my sock last night so Oh, that's the iron wait a second <laughs> thank you that's because i'm not using it anyhow i finished my sock last night so i'm really pleased at that so that's my first sock it is a little bit longer in the leg than i would normally have but i wanted to keep the the pattern rows equal there which is fine but I got a bit carried away here. I had this an extra two rows, which I thought I'm not unpicking. And then we're back down to 10 here and here. And then I got ended up with nine rows in this colour. So, yeah. Yeah, so I did, I think I did, no, I, I did 10 rows in this colour, but I was, I was already on the toe. For that last round to, to try and keep it equal and then there's uh, there's more rows in the toe i think i can't remember now but now that looks lovely i love the colors i can tell where i've used my other yarn now the one i unpicked from the other sock because it looks a bit crinkly a bit lumpy whereas the the new yarn is smooth so i'm hoping that when i've washed it and blocked it it'll be okay i just didn't want to waste it because i think i'm going to have some left over i'm just not sure i'm going to have enough of this cream to do to do the other cuff though i think i'm going to be playing yarn chicken but if i run out i run out it's not the end of the world is it really i mean the socks are going to be under trousers nobody's going to see the top part so yeah so i probably will get started on that tonight get the cuff cast on and get a knit in so yeah so i shall catch you all a little bit later on like i said i'm not sure what else i'm doing apart from doing a bit of sewing today but uh yeah we'll see well, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you soon. Well, I've finished sewing. I've had a very productive day. Um, I can't actually show you what I've sewn, so I'm sorry. <laughs> because Adele's setting up at this minute for a podcast. So that's where I'll show you the bags and that that I've been making. 
but I've been sewing away for it feels like forever. <laughs> uh, I've had no lunch and I was looking at the clock, it's nearly uh, tea time, so I need to go and actually have some food. <laughs> so I struggle, I get a bit carried away when I'm sewing. Um, so I, I might not get back on any more tatty time today on this vlog. Um, but I might put a few pictures in of anything I'm doing this evening. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, so I'll just say thank you for joining me and I'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, yes, podcast. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing after I've had something to eat. So I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. I think this fabric will be on the cards for tomorrow. I might just get it all cut up into bags and everything and then stitch it another day. So I'm looking forward to using this. Well, we've had a bit of an un unexpected event this evening. Hadley's not been very well today. He's not been himself for a couple of weeks now. But today he was quite off it. So he's gone to the vets. And they've kept him in because he's not, he is not well. But we don't know what's wrong with him yet. Um, he has got high blood pressure. Which... I don't know where this has come from because he's never had it before. Um, he does have a heart murmur. And like I say, he just seems to have lost a fair bit of weight at his back end. And today he's just, just was not eating. So we've had a, an emergency vet appointment tonight. And they kept him in. So we need to phone up in the morning to see how he is and what they've done with him. See you, I will see you tomorrow now. Bye for now. <laughs>